Good afternoon. This is the public meeting for Brain to Steer Road Area Water and Sewer Improvement Project. And this is the agenda for this meeting. I am going to provide you project team introduction. I'll provide you a project overview. We'll talk about the project area, some of the frequently asked questions, and then the project timeline. My name is Pratima Paudial, and I'm the project manager for this project, and I'm with City of Fort Worth Water Department. My phone number is 817-392-6149, and email is pratima.paudial at fortworthtexas.gov. Stephen Barnard is the city inspector for this project. He is with the Transportation and Public Works Department. His phone number is 817-897-3083, and email is stephen.barnard at phototexas.gov. Great Tex Utilities is the contractor for this project, and Greg Hagdahl is the representative from Great Tex. A and A Consultant is the engineering firm who designed this project, and Alex Sir is the project manager with A and A. Project overview: um, Existing water and sewer mains will be replaced in an area bound by Brentwood Steel Road to the north, East Loop 820 to the east, Normandy Road to the south, and Carl Street to the west. This capital improvement project is in City Council District 11 and 5. Construction will impact West Meadowbrook Neighborhood Association, neighborhood of East Fort Worth, Central Meadowbrook, Eastern Hills HOA, and Braintwood Oak Hill. And this is one of the project area. The black line you can see over here um, is where we are going to replace water and sewer lines. The first one is Carl Street. We are going to replace both water and sewer in Carl Street. And the limits of replacement is from Normandy Road to Manger Street. The second line is on Azewood Terrace. We are going to replace both water and sewer on Azewood Terrace as well. And the limits of replacement is from Normandy Road to Kimball Street. This construction will impact City Council District 11, West Meadowbrook Neighborhood Association, Central Meadowbrook Neighborhood Association, and the neighborhoods of East Fort Worth. In the same area, there is another street, um, Holt Street, where we are going to replace the water and sewer both, and the limits of replacement is from Kimball Street to Braintwood Steer. And on the Braintwood Steer itself, we are going to replace the water line, and the limits of replacement is from Holt Street to Sailings Drive. And this construction will impact Central Meadowbrook Neighborhood Association and neighborhoods of East Fort Worth. This is another area uh, in this project. The first one is Rock Hill Court. There's a small section over here. We are going to replace water line in this um, and street and the limits of replacement is from Charlotte Street to the cul de sac. This construction will impact Eastern Hills Neighborhood Association and the neighborhoods of East Fort Worth. Another street uh, in the same area uh, is Charlotte Street, and the, we are going to replace water and sewer line in the Charlotte Street, and the limits of replacement is from Rock Hill Court to the Blue Ridge Drive. In the same area, there is a small section over here uh, in the easement where we are going to replace the sewer line. Um, and that construction also impacts Eastern Hills Neighborhood Association and neighborhoods of East Fort Worth. This is another area we are where we are actually extending water lines to complete the loops. Um, the first section is on the Braintwood Steer Road, and the second section is on the Braintwood uh, Drive intersection over here. Um, these two sections of water line extension is in City Council District 5, and this construction will impact Braintwood Oak Hills Neighborhood Association and neighborhoods of East Fort Worth. Some of the landmarks near our project areas, uh, Interstate 30 to the north, Oakland Lake Park and Postic Lake to the west, Meadowbrook Middle School to the south, and Meadowbrook Golf Course to the east. 
Now we'll discuss some of the frequently asked questions. The first one is why are we doing this project? City of Fort Worth prioritizes replacing of the water and sewer lines that have high risk of failure. How we determine high risk of failure is based on several available data, such as water main break history, leak history, CCTV inspection data for the sewer lines, age of the line, line material, if the line has late services, or if the line is a cast iron line. Which issue is specific to this project? This project was created as a part of water cash iron initiative to reduce the amount of water breaks. Fort Worth Water Management has committed to replacing a minimum of 20 miles of cash iron pipe each year. Currently, there are approximately 100 miles of cash iron mains at various stages of the design for the replacement in the fiscal year 2023 and beyond. Which street in this project have cast iron water lines? This project will replace cast iron water lines um, in Carl Street, Aju Terrace, Holt Street, Brentwood Street Road, Rock Hill Court, and Charlotte Street. How will we know construction is starting? If you live in the area impacted by this construction, you will get two door hangers. The first one says construction starts in seven days and it looks like this. And the second one says construction starts tomorrow and it looks like this. The door hanger uh, also includes the city inspector's uh, business card with his her contact information in case you need to contact them. What are the construction hours? The regular construction hours are 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday to Friday, and if requested by the contractor, and if it is approved, they can work on the Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 4 to 5 p.m. Um, there will not be any construction on Sundays. Contractor will also not work on nine city holidays, which are Thanksgiving, day after Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's Day, Martin Luther King Day, Memorial Day, Juneteenth, Independence Day, and the Labor Day. Will there be lane closure during construction? One traffic lane will be closed on Carl Street, North Edgewood Terrace, Old Street, Brentwood Steer Road, Rock Hill Court, and Charlotte Street when water and sewer lines are replaced and the trench is being repaired. The lane closure sign will be posted to alert the motorists. What happens if my property is damaged? The contractor will take pictures and videos of the property before taking before breaking ground. We also encourage property owners to take pictures and video with a date stamp of their property prior to construction. Damage resulting from the contractor's activity during construction is the responsibility of the contractor. Will construction affect my irrigation system? The contractor has to cap irrigation lines before construction starts. The contractor will ask property owners to turn on their irrigation system so the sprinkler head can be located and flanked. The contractor will replace capped or damaged irrigation system if they were damaged as a result of this construction. Will our water be turned off? Water will be turned off for 15 to 30 minutes when service is transferred from the existing line to the temporary water line, and then again from the temporary water line to the newly installed line. These switchovers are done during the daytime. The contractor will knock on the door and let the customer know when the water will be turned off. The transfer typically takes about 30 minutes per house or business. How does the temporary water line impact my home and water bill? The temporary water line ensures that you are not without water during construction. In the summer months, the continuous flow keeps the water from becoming stringent in the above ground line. During the winter months, water must be continually flowing through the temporary line to, make, to keep the line from freezing. Customers should also keep their faucet dripping. 
The bill for your water uses while you are on the temporary line is based on the average of the previous month's uses. Will we have access to our driveways during construction? City inspector and the contractor will work with businesses and residences that need it, driveway access during active construction hours. And again, those active construction hours are 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday to Friday, and if requested by the contractor, 9 to 4 or 5 p.m. on Saturdays. Will you need access to our property? Fodor's water will abandon the sewer line in the alleyway between Carl Street and Azo Terrace. Therefore, we'll need, access, we need to reroute the sewer services on the following addresses to the Carl Street, and the addresses are 1825 Carl Street, 1817 Carl Street, 1809 Carl Street, 1805 Carl Street, 1801 Carl Street, 1733 Carl Street, 1729 Carl Street, 1725 Carl Street, 1721 Carl Street, and 1717 Carl Street. Do we have to grant access to our property? With the exception of some properties on the Carl Street, this construction is in public right of way and in, is in utility easement. If Fort Worth Water needs access to your property, we'll contact you before before accessing your property. For those on the previously mentioned Carl Street properties, the contractor, Gradex Utilities, will bring temporary right of entry ledgers to those uh, property owners. The Carl Street property owners will have to sign the temporary right of entry ledgers. Without the signed temporary right of entry ledger, the contractor will not be able to relocate the sewer services. Will our sewer service be interrupted? Any two sewer service will not be interrupted. New sewer cleanouts will be installed at the property line. The sewer cleanout provides crews easy access if there is a backup or blockage. Will the city's trash truck will be able to pick up night trash and recycling during construction? If your side of the street is closed on our scheduled trash collection day, the contractor will take your trash and recycling cars to the opposite side of the street so the trash collection vehicle can pick it up. If you see water running down the street, do not turn it off. Before we can connect your service to the new water line, we have to flush the line. The water flow from the flushing from flushing the line will be continuous until the inspector gets the samples for that day. You will be connected to the new meter, uh, new water main after two consecutive samples pass the bacteriological test. When it is time to sample the water flowing through the new water main, the contractor will place traffic cones around the valve to prevent anyone from parking over the valve. Do not move the cones, do not park over the cones, and do not turn off the water valve. Now the timeline for construction. The construction will start in December 4, 2023, and the project is estimated to complete in summer of 2025. The contractor will start on Call Street, North Azo District, and North Azo Terrace, and Holt Street first. Generally, the sewer main is installed first, and then the water main is installed when the street is getting both water and sewer replaced. The street will be repaved with asphalt after the water sewer replacement. If you are interested to get more information about this project, you can go to the webpage www.phototexas.gov and type the project number 103381-2. And you can go to the bottom of that page and click on subscribe to this page to get more updates about this project. The project map, Project summary, frequently asked questions, and the PowerPoint will also be linked to this project page. If you have any water or sewer related emergency or non emergency issues, you can call the number 817 392 4477 and select option one for the emergency issues. It is a 24 hour service. And for non emergency issues as well, you can call the same number. 
Um, you can also download app, my FW app from the Apple Store or Google Play. You can report sewer overflows, leaks, and water main breaks, missing or broken meter leaks, water theft, water violation, no water service, water pressure issues, and any other water sewer related issues through the app as well. Again, my name is Pratima Paudial, and I'm the project manager for this project. My phone number is 817-392-6149. Email is pratima.podial at phototexas.gov. Stephen Barnard is the city inspector for the project. His phone number is 817-897-3083. And email is stephen.barnard at phototexas.gov. With that, this presentation is complete. Thank you.